This is the story of the Jordan Automobile Company and one particular car. The company was founded by Edward Ned, as they called him, Jordan. They were located in Cleveland, Ohio. This was their crest and logo. Many may never have heard of the Jordan, even though they were around from 1916 to 1931. Here is the history of the Jordan Car Company. Their first cars were four and seven passenger custom tourings. The company's most famous car in the 20s was probably the Jordan Playboy, advertised as a style of living in 1923. Jordan himself was more of an ad man than a businessman. Let me introduce you to Al. He's the proud owner of one of these cars. But uh, Jordans were known for the advertising. Right, so if you look up any uh, somewhere west of Laramie, it's uh, always about uh, the experience of driving a Jordan, not necessarily the car itself. Right, so the uh, Ned Jordan was very, very good with advertising. Jordan didn't produce any of the parts used to assemble his automobiles. Parts came from suppliers, including the inline Continental engine in Al's car. Here's more about that from Al. Uh, it is a 15S uh, inline straight eight um, Continental made out of uh, Muskegee, uh, Michigan. Right, so it's a Continental motor that was spec'd out by Jordan uh, for this car, for the series of car. Al says there aren't a lot of these cars left, and his may be the last of this model. This is a 1930 Jordan Great Line 90 Coupe. Uh, there is only one 30 that ex exists, I think. Uh, there is 229s, a 30, a 31, and a 32 that still exist. Out of Jordans, there's about 130 left in the world. And so I think there's six of them in Canada. This is a 1930 model, a Model G coupe, right? So this is the one, I think only one coupe that exists. There is some other roadsters and some sedans, but as a coupe, this is the only 30. And how does this rare car run? It's great, runs like a top, runs great. This car has hydraulic brakes and many unseen features. It also has a rumble seat. There's even a place to put golf clubs and a pocket on the side. This is an original car. There's one more note to add. This is not the only Jordan classic in town. Al says his dad has a 26 Jordan. And dad, dad still has his 26. That's the story of Al's superb 1930 Great Line 90 Model G Jordan Coupe that he's owned for six or seven years. Thanks for showing it off, Al, and thanks to you for viewing. And as always, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.